My brother has something like this. If you want the black fray, go with the purple one. What about like these? Favorite coffee shop? What is it called? Abuela. Pretty good. I got matcha. some stuff from Ikea so I wanted to do an unboxing with you all so first just a simple bin for the bathroom this is a garlic crusher is that what it's called um, it's pretty much you put a garlic piece in here and then it will come out as minced garlic so I wanted to get one of these. These are tea towels. I think it's a set of four. So let me, and let's see, let's open the big box up. It's clear glass coffee mugs. They're a really good size because we wanted some bigger mugs. Got a set, two. Are silicone silicone covers so you can use to cover up a piece of vegetable that you still have left or a bowl so it's this hemness bench that I got to put right in the corner here where we enter 
from our front door. See if it's hard to put together. So I made a big mess already. I was at step one and I figured I can't do it by myself because you need strength to actually get these in, but I don't have that strength. So I got Ryan to come help me. There's no chance I would have been able to screw these in by myself. <laughs> we finally assembled all our IKEA stuff. So this is the little bench that we were assembling last time. And here I finally got a full length mirror and Ryan helped me assemble it last night. Now we have a little bench to sit down on when we are putting on, putting on our shoes. And here it's the little tray that I made a couple weeks ago. So here we got some hand sanitizer, a must these days, and our key. And here it's really nice behind the mirror. You have a little space here where you can put stuff on. So here I have my little umbrella and I put my mask here and some of my daily bags. And now I have my yoga pants on. So it's actually a set top and bottom. I got it from H&M a couple months ago and I'm finally wearing them. It's actually really comfortable. I like them. Really comfortable and roomy. It's not too tight, which is good. And I have my yoga session later today. So my friend, who is also my yoga teacher, is going to come over to teach me yoga today. So that would be another nice little exercise day for me. We ordered from Dishoom, which is our favorite Indian restaurant. So today we got black doll here and chicken ruby, which we always order. Ryan got his plain naan. And this is a chili and broccoli salad, which is also really good. And I've always wanted to try the jackfruit biryani, which is their version of fried rice, I think. So I got that as well. Today, I wanted to introduce some of the healthy snacks that I've ordered. We are actually taking a trip for five days and I wanted to get some healthy snacks for myself for the train ride because with my diet, I wasn't sure if I could find something to eat on the train. The train ride's quite long, it's a couple hours. So. First one is I got this pineapple fruit crisps. It's 100% pineapples and it's not deep fried, so it should be pretty good. And going along the same lines, I got two different types of apple crisps. They're both um, very healthy, just apples, no added sugar, so they should be really good. And the rest is from this brand called Deliciously Ella. It's quite popular. She is known to have a lot of good but healthy snacks. And so the first one is sea salt and black pepper baked veggie crackers. It's gluten-free and it's made with seeds, olive oil, and sea salt and black pepper. So pretty good ingredients in here. These um, are almond bites. I've tried different, uh, different bite and it doesn't taste super sweet because it actually doesn't have any sugar in it. It's just made out of dates almond butter, cacao, and coconut oil, and salt. This is really healthy. Uh, so it doesn't taste like chocolate or anything, but it does give you that boost of energy when you need it. And when you're hungry, just having a little bite of this will help. So I got one of these and I saw these and I had to try it. It's double chocolate caramel cups. So the ingredient has dates, gluten-free oats, coconut oil, dark chocolate uh, with no processed sugar. It added coconut sugar, which is good, um, and almond butter and maple syrup and salt. So very clean ingredients and I'm excited to try these. I have a good feeling about these. Also good feeling about these oven-baked chocolate chip cookies. 
I have been really craving cookies, um, but because normally cookies are not gluten-free, they have a lot of added sugar in it, so I couldn't have it. But this one is made out of gluten-free oat flour, which is great. And instead of processed sugar, it's made out of coconut sugar. So this one should be a good snack as well. I can't wait to try it. And last but not least, I got this cacao and almond oat bars, which is also made out of good ingredients. This would be a good snack when I'm really hungry on the train. Mm -hmm.